Before today's video begins, I want to make an official announcement that uh, we have lost more than 60 victims from Typhoon 19th last weekend. And I'm still so sorry for the big loss and some more people in Tohoku regions are still missing. You know, uh, Japan consists of uh, four islands, right? Yeah, uh, Hokkaido, Kyushu, Shikoku, and the mainland of Japan that's called Honshu in Japanese. Overall, Japan has a unique culture and a unique landscape and I'm always here to show you the wonders of Japan uh, beyond what you usually see on the internet. But at the same time, we have the same amount of negative background, you know what I'm saying? Last year, uh, we received the same uh, natural disaster with Typhoon and what is worse, we had uh, the random murder in Kyoto Animation this summer. We have lost a lot of uh, innocent people who can't be uh, reborn sadly enough. There are a lot more uh, nightmares that, that I shouldn't uh, share with you because this channel is supposed to be fun. Sometimes I feel so guilty when, I'm, uh, when I always do uh, my favorite on YouTube in spite of seeing a terrible accident in, on TV or watching outrageous in internet like a tailgating drive. I feel like you wanna say, hey Mike. Look what you do. So many people are still uh, suffering from typhoon and they hurt so badly. How the hell do you just fuck around and film yourself for such a boring, uh, terrible video? If you say so, you are absolutely right. So this time, I would like to give you a brief example of Japanese tradition that I went through this summer. You know, like I said a few minutes ago, Last week, uh, we had a huge typhoon hitting Honshu uh, mainland of Japan. Geographically, uh, we tend to have contagious, uh, continuous uh, natural disasters throughout the year, such as tsunami, earthquake, typhoon, and flooding. We don't even know when, where, and what happens to us. In Reddit, I saw a terrible comment saying uh, Japan, Japan survival of the uh, strongest typhoon of the decade, flooding uh, everywhere, uh, but it's green. Now, uh, no floating of garbage everywhere. That's bad joke. On the other hand, uh, sarcastically, in terms of in terms of geography, uh, we are very enriched for water. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, drinking water in Japan is very clean and very pure. Uh, you can drink tap water everywhere except the capital cities like Tokyo and Osaka. Uh, look at the Hokkaido case. They have, wonder, uh, they have wonderful natural resources. Uh, personally, uh, I visited there for sightseeing only once, especially beer was so good. But I saw the news uh, that uh, a Chinese billionaire uh, bought the whole mountainous area in Hokkaido. Guess what happened? He exploited uh, the water vein uh, in the mountain and uh, imported the large amount of uh, pure water back to China and they uh, sell them out uh, at the higher price. Because Japanese water has been over evaluated on the high uh, stage of global uh, water standard level. So people uh, in China trusted it uh, with no questions, you know? Uh, on a cheap plastic bottle of water, they just put a package filled out uh, with Japanese kanji, Rurubon, then people trust it. Well, that's good things. That's good things for a Japanese brand uh, spread out uh, all over the world. That's absolutely all right. But the stupid idea here is that some of bad business people uh, produce the fake Japanese brand. I mean, uh, they filter uh, dirty water and make it uh, taste fine. Uh, people from uh, mainland of China uh, don't really know how good pure water is because uh, water not uh, tastes nothing. Not only Chinese people, but uh, overseas people also do not have the keen uh, sense of taste because water is water. When you get exercise, uh, you get thirsty, right? Yeah. Then uh, when you uh, drink cold water, you feel so good, right? Yeah, same thing. It's uh, kind of uh, tricky, but if you do something wrong, everything goes wrong. Aside from that, again, I would like to give you a pure guidance of a normal Japanese tradition that I went through again, okay? So let's have a look at that clip all together. Do you guys know uh, what they are doing? Actually, these are my parents. Uh, they are changing something. Apply some glues on a tray, put the glue from the outer to inner frames. Cover the paper before the glue uh, gets dried. 
、uh, cut the paper out of the roll if you have、uh, some left. Trim the margin with a knife so that the、uh, paper can be fixed properly to the frame. Slide down、uh, carefully and trim nicely. After you are done replacement,、uh, I put the spray、uh, with the pure water on the paper because I have to replace it totally. Alright, we are done. This is the shoji. Yes, Japanese window. Shoji is Japanese sliding door or window consisting, consisting of、uh, uh, wooden frames and thin Japanese paper that's called washi. Okay, that's pretty much how、uh, I usually、uh, set up the shoji paper once it gets older. Originally,、uh, shoji paper is installed in the inner side of windows that you can uh, freely uh, open and close at your convenient time. You will have、uh, many chances to、uh, encounter the shoji windows if you visit the local places. Like、uh, when I traveled、uh, Shirakawa Go in Gifu Prefecture last month, I saw them everywhere and even in my house. I have the shoji windows uh, with tatami mat uh, when, uh, where、uh, makes you feel that's a real Japanese traditional home. Also, Uh, the shoji、uh, windows functions great. Yeah, they have、um, effective energy saving functions. They are excellent in moisture retaining and absorb solar、uh, radiated heat. They, are, they all make you、uh, feel more comfortable you live in a room. Myself, I would love to live in a Japanese traditional room with tatami and、uh, shoji windows. But in a capital city like Tokyo, you don't see them quite often. You know why? Because they have air conditioner and air cleaner. Nowadays, the shoji windows are totally getting old fashioned. If you have your kids, they play prank. Yeah, they like, they suck their fingers and、uh, poke the hole, hole through.、Uh, you don't wanna clean and change the shoji windows again, do you? So, the more convenient our life gets, the less Japanese tradition will be. So, personally, like I said, I love Japanese tradition, but As time goes by, whew, they are just gone. I mean, historically, we have、uh, invented so many convenient products to、uh, make people's life better, but、uh, as those Japanese innovative products have been globalizing in Asian countries, the shoji windows are absolutely becoming useless to catch up with the、uh, competitive globalization. So I think the shoji windows are only、uh, valued, I mean, they are only good for sightseeing、uh, business in Japan. There are other same Japanese stuff、uh, we no longer need. Let's say、uh, one of the things、uh, I can come up with right now is like,、uh, like I said, tatami mat and a family、uh, Buddhist altar. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And、uh, what else? Yeah, that's right. The traditional Japanese uh, garment uh, called wafuku or kimono. Yeah, they are so beautiful, but. Uh, normal Japanese people can't afford to buy a set of kimono because they are overpriced. They are only used for like special events、uh, like wedding ceremony or funeral, or more like、uh, I introduced to you in a coming over age day before. Yeah, we just get it from a rental shop and for temporary use. We don't buy it、uh, unless we have a big、uh, room enough to keep them in a closet or we are rich. Speaking of、uh, big projects like kimono,、uh, there is、uh, one thing、uh, I have been overthinking about the risk factor of typhoon. I have a friend of mine who、uh, owned a house purchased in a rural area at、uh, 300k US dollar. If he had a same typhoon、uh, flushing his house, everything is, is just gone, right? So I wonder what the heck、uh, he was gonna do. Like this time,、uh, let's suppose、uh, you are a house. Owner,、uh, when the stream、uh, is on the top of you, what are you gonna do? You can't just escape from there, right? No, 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 never. Yeah, you should probably、uh, protect your property at any cost, and you don't try to protect your Japanese traditions even if you are a real Japanese. Something like that、uh, happens in Japan. Yeah, people speak nicely like, oh, we shouldn't、uh, ruin our、uh, civilization or culture or traditions. We should、uh, keep it up. Or, Jesus Christ,、uh, God blesses you. If you say so, that's a piece of crap. No one helps you. Without the money, anything doesn't help you. That's my point today.
<laughs> What do you think?、Uh, let me hear from you. I want to hear your honest opinion. And you can freely、uh, leave your comment、uh, down below if you, if, you, if you want. I get you back with my reply as soon as I can. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching、uh, until the last minute. I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, by the way, if you are in Japan, please be, be careful of the typhoon. Okay? So, take it easy. Bye.